I'm speechless. I never thought in a million billion years that I would have to do this. It doesn't pain me to do this. It makes me laugh to do this. You've seen the title of this video. My reaction says it all. If you haven't heard by now, the name of the July pay-per-view. In Dallas, Texas. <laughs> the Raw branded exclusive pay-per-view event, which will feature a rare Universal Championship appearance and defense by Brock Lesnar. Emanating from Dallas on July 9th. The name of this pay-per-view is WWE Great Balls of Fire. WWE Great Balls of Fire. <sighs> Guys, it's pretty simple. You know what happens when that's your pay-per-view name. You know what happens when you force talent to say that in scripted promos. You know what happens when you force the great Paul Heyman to say that in one of his promos because you know he's going to have to say that. You know he's going to have to say that. You know what happens when you rip off a Jerry Lee Lewis song. You guys know what happens. WWE Great Balls of Fire? You just made the list, you stupid idiots. Seriously, what the heck is up with that? Great balls of fire? Gee, would 71-year-old owner approve that? Hmm. Oh, wait, that explains it all. Let's rip off Jerry Lee Lewis songs while we're at it. So, um, guys, I don't know what to say. But what I do know what to say is when I have to do that review, I'm going to be laughing my ass off. Great balls of fire. <laughs> I thought it was a joke. When I first saw it, I was like, no freaking way. It can't be true. It, it just can't be true. It has to be a rib. It's just like, they wouldn't be dumb enough to do something like that. But, you know, this company continues to prove me wrong every single time. So they were dumb enough to go with that name. I mean, I'm laughing just saying it. Can you imagine having to go out there on Raw and be like, I challenge you for the Intercontinental Championship at WWE, because you know you got to throw that in here. It can't just be the name of the paper. It has to be at WWE. Great balls of fire. I just laugh my ass. I can't take it seriously. It's and when Michael Cole has to do that hard sell. Oh my goodness, is it gonna be bad? Because I I saw this on Deluxe Man's page, and I'm like, at first I thought he was joking. I'm like, this has to be. This can't be serious. Sure enough, it's serious. So you know what, guys? That's what happens. It it makes the list. It I can't not put this on the list. I mean, it's just too ridiculous. So yeah, that's what happens. It's um, it's going right here. And uh, wow. I mean, I'm stunned. There you go. Great balls of fire. You just made the list. So, um, feel bad for all the talent on the Raw brand that have to say that because you know they, they'll make them say that a million times in their scripted promos. Michael Cole will have to say it. Corey Graves, shout out to him from Pittsburgh. He'll have to say that. It's just um, one of the worst pay per view names that I've heard in a long, long time. And I thought the gimmick match names were bad. Oh, no. I'll take Elimination Chamber, Hell in a Cell. TLC, Capital Punishment, that was a bad name. Um, bragging Rights, <laughs> there was a top 10 list of worst pay-per-view names. Uh, there's been some bad ones, but this one just, wow. I mean, what was wrong with Bad Blood? I heard, bad ble like, easy for me to say, Bad Blood was rumored to be coming back, but... Uh, I was waiting on this being confirmed, waiting on the news, and then this dropped. Like I said, at first, I thought this was a joke, but if you haven't heard, once again, July 9th, Dallas, Texas, WWE, great balls of fire. <laughs> Vince, you're out of touch. Damn it. It's great balls of fire. What don't you love about it? <laughs> Vince, the president here, I love it. Really great name. Vince, you do it once again. 
There's nobody like Vince McMahon. He truly has the Midas touch. At 71 years old, Jerry Lee Lewis, it is the greatest name that WWE has ever come up with for a pay-per-view. So guys, thank you for tuning into this video. And um, tomorrow, 11.15, payback review. Be there or be square. Once again, it's going to be hopefully a good show. And I'd take the name payback any, any day of the week over great balls of fire.